look at the transfer function given in that one the p is a real positive number we need to find the maximum value of p until which the given transfer function is stable stability can be specified from the transfer function that to closed loop transfer function by using ruth hurwitz criteria so by using ruth hurwitz criteria we can say the stability for it requires closed loop transfer function that is what it requires is characteristic equation ruth hurwitz criteria requires characteristic equation to specify about the stability so whatever the transfer function given can we consider it as closed loop or open loop okay for this problem it should be taken as closed loop transfer function only why it should be taken as closed loop transfer function because nothing is specified about the feedback okay it has not given anything about the feedback transfer function and even if it is not specified whether it is unity feedback or anything else so nothing is specified in the problem as a feedback so this problem assumes that the given transfer function internally it has used the type of feedback and finally we got a closed loop transfer function is given as gp of s and general closed loop transfer function equation is 1 by 1 plus gh and denominator part of closed loop transfer function if you equate it to 0 that will become characteristic equation denominator part is 1 plus gh and if you are equating to 0 this will be treated as characteristic equation of the given system and routh hurwitz criteria requires characteristic equation so characteristic equation for the given system is s square plus 3 plus p times of s plus 2 minus p is going to be 0 apply routh hurwitz criteria which is going to be s square s1 so s square coefficient is 1 and s coefficient is 3 plus p okay and zero coefficient s power zero coefficient is 2 minus p and now we have to fill the s not column s not column is multiplication of 3 plus p into 2 minus p minus okay it is not specified anything so you can write it as zero divided by 3 plus p so finally you are going to get it as 2 minus p okay This two minus p you will get it as three plus p into two minus p minus one into zero divided by three plus p. So three plus p three plus p get cancelled. So you will get it as two minus p. For stability, for stability, all the elements in the first column should be non-zero. For stability, all elements in first column of froth array okay should be non zero so non zero specifying that one okay from s not row if you are observing if you are observing s not row 2 minus p should be greater than 0 because non zero that means it is said that one 2 should be that is p should be lesser than 2 and next if you are observing s1 then 3 plus p should be greater than 0 that is we can say that one p is okay p should be greater than minus 3 p should be greater than minus 3 so from these two conditions because s square is at 1 so no need to consider this one it is already greater than 1 is greater than 0 since this s1 and s0 are consisting of p's so we are going to get a value for p from these two things p value should be between 2 and minus 3 and the maximum value of p at which the system is stable is 2 so if p is equal to 2 until p is equal to 2 the system is stable if p is equal to 2 or greater than the system will become unstable so the maximum value of p is Two for this answer. So the question uh, for this question, the answer is two. Thank you.